Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Grid Attack Fangame tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a grow mod to Grid Attack Fangame. So basically, you guys can grow and scale down again and reset all that stuff. Yeah, pretty simple. If you want to join my Discord server, link is for that in the description. Just download the link in the script here. Um, make sure that you also have easy inputs. Make sure that you input that if you do not have it. You just want to go into your game, import the script, and want to make an empty game object, just call it grow mod, whatever you want to do, uh, size change, uh, I don't really care about it. So yeah, you just want to add component, grow mod, there we go. It's pretty self-explanatory. Basically the grow is basically which hand trigger you have to press uh, to grow. Oh here it's going to be shrink, so I want to have on your right hand that you grow, and on the left hand you're going to shrink. Gorilla play is just a gorilla play, just like this. The max size is just so you can now scale up above that size. I would do like three. The minimum size would be like 0.1, for example, which is pretty pretty good actually. It's pretty tiny already. Then you want to also have the speed, which is basically how fast you're going to scale up. Uh, yeah. The reset hand is basically just a hand where you have to press any of the face buttons. So basically, if it's primary, um, it's going to be the Okay, so basically I just looked it up right now because I didn't know which one was which. And so yeah, the primary button is on the left controller the X or on the right controller going to be the A button. And the secondary button, so if it's not the, so if you do not have it checked, it's going to be uh, on the left hand the Y and on the right hand the B button. Yeah, pretty simple thing to be honest. And basically what it does, it just sets it back to the original size that you had your girls at your gorilla player add. Even if you scale your gorilla player up, it's also going to set it to this scale again. Also, it's going to always be the same size as from the beginning. And now if you guys actually test this out, um, it will work, but you may have some issues with uh, other people not seeing it. So you want to go here to player, you want to add the transform view, so add the photon transform view. And basically, you just want to open it up and then just check the scale, which um, is pretty simple. Just, uh, yeah, click the scale here so it's also syncing the scale. And you guys can actually test it out right here. Just want to go here and you guys can hit test grow. It's going to grow you um, until the limit. As you guys can see, my gorilla play is now at 3 something. It's like a little bit inaccurate, but like you cannot even see it. You know, I just changed it to 333, three, 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 uh, yeah, it's such a little like offset, but yeah, it's it's really not really mattering. Um, so, I guess can shrink down again, of course, if you want to. Oh, not grow, shrink, and there you go. You shrink down until you're really, really small, and we can reset the size. Um, this looks a little bit stupid. It's because uh, the gorilla place head is going to be inside the floor, but you're not out of the map. It's still all working. Uh, all is properly fine. All is good. Same thing also again works when you bake. You can test shrink. You can do all the kind of stuff with it. I'm just going to click this again. It's going to reset you to the original size. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I hope you can use this in your game and I hope it could help you. Bye bye. Love you.